Let's take a look at what we're doing this week, okay? So we're gonna jump into something called algorithmic art. I'm gonna show you another program called Turtle Blocks. I gave it out to you um, a couple of weeks ago and again last week. And so hopefully you've played around with it a little bit. I'm gonna just show you a couple of things and then I'm not gonna go too far because uh, there are a couple of videos for you to watch and there's some things for you to explore. And mostly I'm not expecting, you know, like Leonardo da Vinci stuff here. I'm looking to see that you are looking at the code, you're starting to deconstruct it a little bit, try to figure out what it means, and that you um, are just having fun with it. I and mean, we're not gonna be a coding expert in an hour or two, but it might give you a taste of how you can problem solve. If you watch that Code Stars video, it goes into all kinds of things about how to problem solve, um, creativity, you know, how you help other people. I mean, coding really is almost like a magic superpower. So this is going to be a different way to look at it. Um, let me show you what's here. You know, first of all, go to the checklist. The checklist up here will give you your benchmarks and your explanations for what all these different things are. But these first two videos up here are videos that my husband made, and he's actually really good with this program. And so he did some concentric squares and concentric circles. And, you know, don't feel like you have to have it memorized but it will give you an idea of what it can do, like some possibilities of things you can do. And then in the learn section, I have it broken down into kind of uh, two chunks. The first one, getting started, you know, turtle blocks is the program, but then there's a brief introduction to turtle blocks and a quick start. And both of those are actually pulled out right here. And then the rest of the links are under resources to help train your turtle. So there's another guide, like a, a little more of an advanced guide. There are um, a couple of other videos. There's a project you could try at this Young Engineers Club. You know, and one of the best things to do is if you see something like that, like I have an example down here. See if you can copy this. See if you can make this happen on your screen and turn it into this, okay? Because if you can copy the code and make it run, and then go in and change some of the numbers. Like, huh, I wonder if I you know, put a seven here instead of a three, or what would happen if I changed the color number to 12? You know, see what kind of things happen with that. That's a really good way to explore computer programming. And so in the do section, which we'll get to in a moment, there's this turtle block challenge, all right? And so I give you a couple of challenges to do, um, and then you're gonna uh, put those on Discord for us. I don't have a link to turtle blocks up here, but it is it is in the um, on the checklist. But let me pull this up for you. I'm going to close Twitter over here. And so when you open up turtle blocks, it looks like this. Okay. Well, and there might not actually be any code here. I kind of pulled this code out um, just to you know just to play with it a little earlier. But basically, you have a turtle. Oops. Let me hit on that. You have a turtle. And the turtle has a pen. And the pen can be different colors and different widths. But basically, it's a turtle with a pen. And so what you're doing is giving the turtle instructions to draw. And so let me pull this apart a little bit. I'll come down here. So you have a start block. And you, you access all of these blocks by opening these menus. So some blocks are pen blocks, and some blocks are action blocks, all right? And so just explore, take a minute and just explore the blocks and see if you can figure out what they mean. That's probably the first place to start. And so you start with the start block because that gives the command. And what I'm doing is setting the pen size to one. So I don't think it'll go anywhere. Yeah, because he doesn't have any commands to run. So um, you can set that, we'll play with that in a minute. Let me pull this off here and let's stick this inside. So let's look at this for a second, because I've got, there's basically three blocks here, right? There's this block that says repeat, and then there's a block that says forward 100, and a block that says write 90, all right? And these are commands forward, right, left, you know, back, the different commands in there. So what do you think that's going to make? Forward 100, write 90, repeat how many times? four times, right? Let's try it. Oh, that was pretty fast. You ready? Let's try it again. Way too fast. He's a speedy turtle. So let me show you a way to slow it down. If you click on this menu right here, the auxiliary menu, 
these two items, this one will run it step by step, or like you literally have to click it step by step. But let's go to run slowly and watch the turtle. Watch what's happening on the code, too. So he went four times. Okay, let's change the pen to a, I don't know, let's change it to a five. I'm going to erase that. Let him start with a clean slate. Move this down where you can see it. You notice how much thicker it is? So that's what setting the pen to five is. Now, what if we wanted to make kind of an interesting design? Hmm. I'm going to try something here. And let's see if you can tell what it's going to do. OK, so let's erase. And let's hit start. Let's just move the turtle. I should have moved the turtle over. What's the turtle doing? Look at the code as it's running. It highlights. And he's done. How many squares did he make? One, two, three, four, right? Because I said repeat this four times. So what it's doing is it's running this little algorithm in here. Okay, so it's going forward 100, right turn 90 degrees. So it does those two steps and then it does a left turn at 20 degrees. That's why he went off just a little bit and it runs through that cycle four times. So let's, let's kind of talk through this. Okay, so he's gonna go forward 100, right? Forward, right, forward, right, forward, right, turn left a little bit. Forward, right, forward, right, forward, right, forward, right, turn left a little bit. Forward, right, forward, right, forward, right, forward, right, turn left a little bit. Forward, right, forward, right, forward, forward, right. That's like a tongue twister. And yeah, he turns left 20 degrees. Now, if I repeated this, I don't know how many times, 40 times. Let's do it 40 times. And uh, I'm going to run this regular speed because I don't want to watch that 40 times. But kind of how cool is that? And it's all just off of this simple, simple algorithm. You're making a square and then you're having it turn and you're just having it repeat that process 40 times. You could do it, I don't know, I could do it 400 times. I wonder what it would look like. Let's make the pen because 400 is going to be a little thick. See if I can get the pen to change. I'll go back to a one. I'll try this one more time. Yeah, it's better with a thin pen. So it just kind of keeps going. Go, turtle, go. All right, I'm going to stop it. 400 was way too many because <laughs> it looked like it kept looping over. There's probably, based on that 20 degree angle, divided by 360, would that be like 16 iterations that it could go before it starts looping over itself again? Anyhow, you can do the math and figure this out. So let me erase this. Let me, um, and I recommend you use this on a laptop because it's a lot easier. However, and you notice there's, when you hover down here, there's a trash can. So I'm gonna get rid of that program. Oh, I must always have at least the start block, sorry. Okay, so um, you can do it on mobile, but it's a little trickier to manipulate a little bit. Okay, it's a lot easier if you can do it on a laptop. So there are some sample programs that I've given you that are in a folder labeled Turtle Art Sample Files. And so one of the things you could do, and you notice they're all .tb, turtle blocks. And so you can download some of these and try them. So I'm gonna open one up. Let's see, load project from file. I happen to have this folder open full of files. Which one do we wanna try? Let's try, let's try the square nested spiral. Now that code is a little more complicated, like a lot more complicated. There's a lot more stuff there, but let's, let's run it. Where'd our turtle go? Oops, I don't want to collapse. There he is. So ready? Let's see what he does. Whoa. All right, that's pretty cool. Stop and erase. So you could take, so what I want you to do is open one or two of these, run it, 
but then try to figure out what in the world is it doing? That's the idea, okay? So there's plenty of sample files for you to play with. Now, let me go back up here. Let's look at what the actual assignment is. So turtle block challenge, let me open up the challenge. And there's, there's three parts, okay? The first part's explore. So the first part is explore. First part, you're gonna watch the uh, brief introduction. You're gonna look around, open some of those files, play around with them, see what they do. You know, spend 30 minutes and, and open up a bunch of them. See how many you can kind of figure out by, you know, stepping through side, but you know, step by step, just like we did with that square that turned. And then the first challenge is, is you're gonna make some wallpaper. And I put some pictures here, to, I don't know, just inspiration. I'm not sure I'd have any of these in my actual house, but it'll give you an idea. So create something that um, can just, let's say it's wallpaper for your computer or for your, um, you know, your house, I guess. Anyhow, create whatever you want here. And then the idea is, is it's got something that repeats. And the second one is you're going to change the algorithm a little bit. And so what you have to do is similar to what we just did, what I just showed you with that spiral, you're going to change the value so um, in a simplest way possible so that it changes directions when it runs. All right. Now, don't overthink these too much. Have, have fun with them. Give them a try. Look at the sample code. Tweak the sample code see what happens. And then what you're going to do is make a video, like a screencast video of your turtle running the project so I can see him go. And you're going to copy your code. Like you might have to do a screenshot for your code. Okay. And there's a, um, there is a um, assignment in Discord. I'm sorry. There's an assignment in Discord, a channel in Discord for you to post that to. And then here's a link to the sample files on a Google Drive, but they're also in, in Moodle. So have some fun with this. This is really interesting. One of the things that hangs people up is they think, they overthink or they don't think enough, one way or the other. And so kind of think through your steps, start with that square. Can you make that square? And can you make that square do what I made it do? Okay, that's a big start. And then what else can you do? Can you make a triangle? Triangles are really hard, by the way. I heard that you need some trigonometry for triangles. And so some of those sample files might show you how to do that. Um, can you make, I had somebody make a picture of, of a person out of, with the turtle and you can have multiple turtles. There's like lots of things you can do, but start off really, really simple. See if you can get that square to change directions like I did and then work from there. So make sure you ask questions, use the help desk. Um, I'll be available. And I'm super excited to see what you guys post on this. This is a fun assignment.